Obadiah Croto was arrested on a warrant on Thursday. Investigators say the 22-year-old was seen on several occasions driving a green Dodge Charger similar to a New Hampshire State Police cruiser. The car had a light bar on the roof, laptop computer mounted, cameras. Which led many to believe it was the real deal. People were in fact confused. Um, that he was driving a car like that. Sergeant Brandon Gagnon says Croto stopped at multiple accident scenes in town. People actually believe that the police were already on scene just seeing that car there when they were in fact not. At times, Croto was seen wearing a security uniform, claimed to be a first responder, and even offered medical aid. In one case, he tried accessing someone's personal information. In that particular instance, he showed up at a disabled vehicle and identified himself as a roadside service company and was seeking personal information from the operator. Did he get anything? He did not. But in a phone interview with News 9, Croto is clearing his name. I'd say that um, there was a lot of allegations made that were um, incorrect. Croto says the car belongs to his company, Propel Entertainment, and that they provide executive protection and bodyguard services. I think one of the most important things left out um, was two things on the vehicle. Located on both sides of the vehicle are not only our logo and our name, but also in white lettering. Um, it clearly states on the driver's door and the passenger's door that we are not a law enforcement agency. However, Merrimack police say that company is not registered with the state, a requirement by law. Sergeant Gagnon says what Croto did was illegal and dangerous. It's a Class B felony in New Hampshire, uh, just, just by itself of... Uh, assuming the responsibilities of a police officer, whether you identify yourself or not, still falls under that law. In Merrimack, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.